call Dr. Nacho uh, on this day. Happy day. It's an interesting time where, you know, the beginning parts of the days have lost meaning. Is it Thursday? Is it Friday? Nobody knows. I'm wearing sweatpants though. So that's my new thing uh, during this coronavirus quarantine. But what we can do, what can we do? I know there are things we can't do, like go to our dental practices and do things. But what we can do is work on our business, learn about new ways to be successful during this downtime. And I'm super happy to have key resources and sponsor Maggie Crowley from Layton, a consultant from Layton, who's going to talk to us about tax, a tax credit we may be missing out on or likely missing out on. So welcome, Maggie, to Talking Nachos. Share with us how you guys help dentists and what you guys do. Hi, guys. Thanks so much for having me. As uh, Paul said, my name is Maggie, and I work for a consulting firm called Layton, and our specialty is research and development tax credits, which you may be thinking, okay, I've heard of it, but that's that's for a, a, a large researcher or some white lab coats. But in fact, this credit is available to, to several dis, dev, different industries, including the dental sector. So it was introduced back in the 80s and it was on a two year, two year renewal basis. And it was primarily only taken advantage of by Fortune 500 companies because it wasn't a sure bet. And then in 2015, it was made permanent here in the US and some of the, the qualifying activities broadened and it was also opened up to support early stage companies. And what the credit, the purpose of the credit is to reward companies for incorporating new technology into their businesses, creating new processes within their businesses and techniques and creating jobs here in the US. And so as it relates to dental practices, you guys are constantly trying out new techniques, materials. You have a huge push to improve the patient experience and the longevity of a procedure you, you might be doing. Um, and then of course you guys, I, I think to stay ahead in this industry, you have to be incorporating new technology constantly. And all of that is, is costly. It sounds like Dennis, Maggie, we're always getting new stuff. Uh, we're getting scanners for our scanners. We're developing new things with implants. So this sounds right up our dentist alley. So just so I can help my audience process it, because I had not heard of it until we spoke. So this R&D tax credit is for businesses who are doing those things like you talked about, which is, which is definitely dentist. Uh, what's part of the process? Dentists like treatment plans and step-by-step -step stuff. So we say, okay, that sounds like us. What's the next step in this process for us to determine if we would be candidates for this? So to be a candidate for this, you have to be a practice owner. You have to be paying income tax or um, payroll tax. And you can be a very well old established uh, owner. So we can look back by three tax years. So we can look back to 2016 or 17, depending on how you file. And um, those are pretty much all the, the qualifications you have to be doing uh, a lot of those things that I had mentioned before, the, the types of dentistry that typically include that qualify are orthodontics, periodontics, prosthodontics, oral surgeons, and general dentistry. So implants, that is an activity that's, that's quite common and that is a qualifying activity. Awesome. So that sounds like us. That sounds good. We're doing these things now. Uh, I am, you know, been involved with taxes my entire life. What can we write off? Can, can I write off my nachos? I don't know. Is that like, are you allowed to do that? I, I'd like to. Um, so what is like a typical amount Dennis could expect to have written off or adjusted or in, in your experience? So just to, to let you know how we, we attack it, we look at the, how you, what you guys are spending in your practice on salaries, subcontracted costs, like maybe you're bringing in an anesthesiologist, um, and then your supply costs. So whether you have an in-house lab, or you're sending it out, the supply costs we can include. And uh, this is an average, so we see higher, we see lower. But on average, per dentist within the practice, we see firms getting back $30,000 per year. That is awesome, I mean, especially during this very unique time where our income has been halted and we're trying to get different programs. It sounds like an awesome opportunity for dentists to JFO, which stands for Just Find Out in our Nacho World just find out how this can, can help them. I mean, uh, I appreciate you sharing this with us. I, I had not known it was a thing. And you know, this is how we can be better by sitting at home in our sweatpants looking into this. 
if someone wants to reach out to you and says, hey, this sounds exactly like me, I'd like to get a tax credit, I'd like to connect with you, Maggie, how would they do that? Give me a call. I would, I would encourage you to invite your CPA on that call too. People often have questions after, after speaking with us so we can speed up the process. And so give me a call with your CPA. You can send me an email as well. Uh, I believe that's going to pop up on the screen, but it's mcrowley at layton.com. And, um, or even contact me on this group. Awesome. So contact Nacho Group, uh, Layton.com, and mcrowley at Layton.com. I'm going to spell it M-C-R-O-W-L-E-Y at L-E-Y-T-O-N.com. I think you're going to make a lot of dentists. What I like to say, I don't know what happiness is, Maggie. Very hard to determine happiness, but I know what being annoyed <laughs> is like. And oftentimes yeah. dentistry is annoying, like Mr. Grumbly here. So you can help reduce that annoyance for dentists, and that will make us happier. All right. Well, I sure hope I can help you guys. I would love to. It's awesome. Well, thanks for being out with us. Uh, Dental Nachos World, if you need any help from us, Ariel's on the slide. You can reach out to us at salsa.dentalnachos.com. Uh, Maggie's information is in the comments. Enjoy your day out there. Hang in there. We're in this together and bring you ideas like this are ways for you to make your life a little bit better during this coronavirus crisis. Thanks, guys.